If you like me and prefer to browse the Google Play Store on the web rather than the app on the phone, then you may have come across this issue before, where you find an application or game that you want to use, but are unable to find it when you search for it on your smartphone or tablet. Then when you go out of the way to send the link directly to yourself, but end up finding that you get an error about it not being compatible with your device. There are a few reasons why you could be getting this error message, so let me explain the reasons behind it and how you could go about installing it on your phone even when you get an error like this. So the first reason why you could be getting this error is because the developer has chosen to not approve your specific device as a supported model. See, when a developer publishes their application or game into the Play Store, they can choose which devices are able to install it. This can be a very generic permission list that includes all devices with a specific version of Android installed, or it can be a very specific list where only approved smartphones and tablets are allowed to officially install it. A developer may choose to only allow specific devices to install their app or game because they themselves only have a limited number of devices that they can test with. And sometimes a developer may not want to allow untested devices to install it in an attempt to prevent users from having a bad experience. For example, a developer may not have any Xiaomi phones on hand, so if they didn't specifically test them, then it could result in a game-breaking crash to happen that ruins it for the customer. The person who bought the game would be rightfully upset since they spent money to play a game but was unable to enjoy it, and then they would leave a negative review, and that could begin to chip away at the momentum the developer had been earning with the algorithm. So if you're unable to install an application or game and you see a message that says this phone or tablet isn't compatible with this app or game, then that could be the reason. Another reason you could be seeing this error message is because the developer hasn't updated it to support the version of Android that you're currently using. I see this issue constantly within the Android gaming community recently, where someone has been enjoying a specific game for years, but after they install a new Android update, or after they have bought a new phone, they are unable to install their favorite game due to a software limitation. This is a restriction Google has put in place to prevent some apps and games from being installed on newer versions of Android until the developer has released an update and a developer may not have the resources to implement the changes so that application or game is left abandoned and can only be officially installed on older devices. There may be some other reasons why you're getting this error message on your device, but the two that I have outlined here today are by far the most common culprits. So now you may be asking yourself, is there a way to work around this issue? And there usually is, but it's not guaranteed to work. The first thing that I suggest is that you manually sideload that APK file instead of trying to install it from the Google Play Store directly. This may require you to find the APK from a trusted resource online like a website or an unofficial app store, 
please just be careful when going down this route as you could easily install a modified version that contains some malware. I can only recommend people install APK files downloaded from sources that they trust to not inject malware into the APK files they host. Or, at the very least, put in effort to prevent modded APK files from being downloaded from their servers. Now, alternatively, if you have a device that can install the application or game, like an older device or one that is specifically supported by the developer, then you could use an application like Files by Google to share that installed APK file from your supported device to your unsupported device. I have shown how to do this in a separate video, so instead of making this one longer than it needs to be, I'll go ahead and link to that tutorial down in the video description below. This method has the added benefit of knowing that the source you got the APK file from is trusted as it came directly from the Google Play Store. However, you should be aware that there may be reasons why the developer does not officially support your device, whether that's because it's untested or due to the version of the Android you have installed, the app or game could simply not work and give you errors when you try to open it. Those instances seem to be far and few between as sideloaded APK files tend to work just fine, even on unsupported devices. So it's always worth trying, as these devices won't break just from you trying to install the app or game. Just be aware that it is unsupported for a reason. And again, I have to warn people about downloading apps or games from untrusted sources. It is very easy for one of these alternative app stores to host malware hidden within the APK file.